So uh, this is an interesting project. Um, it's called Hillside. Um, uh, let me actually just bring up the um, the Unreal Engine page. Um, but it's a Unreal Engine 5.2 example project, and I'll, I'll leave the link below. Um, it's kind of like an architecture kind of documentary type thing about a um, potential idea and this guy had uh, a few decades ago about building these kind of like um, structured um, housing developments and, and, and this is like a big thing I think for the the UEVR mod in general is like stuff other than games like this Archvidge um, and you can just have a project and even without having like the project file which is the executable just instantly turning into a VR one um, performance is pretty rough because it's uh, obviously not optimized for uh, VR at all. Um, it's not got DLSS or anything like this, um, but it just shows as well. Five point two is working working well, um, and you can actually play this with um, streaming on their website as well. Um, it's kind of like a webinar. Um, there's like some audio logs that just kind of like talk about the talk about the project. Um, Yeah, looks looks good. Uh, changing it to medium is such a drastic change when you just get the basic models. Obviously, it runs really well, but the, the lighting is like a big part of this um, the experience. Um, but <laughs> even walking around, I'm like looking at this bread, thinking, "Oh man, it'd be so awesome to live here." Um, it's like a very posh upper middle class ghetto slum. <laughs> uh, it's like something from Cyberpunk, honestly. Like um, there's like an outdoor one where you walk around. I like the idea though, having like all these houses in this walkable, cyclable. You see out here, there's like some parts of it they've not like loaded in. Like this is the very edge of that, the like the house. So yeah, the outside looks really nice. Kind of reminded me of like um, Bat Battersea in um, London. Um, um, I mean, the performance isn't great at the moment, but you just need to imagine in like five years time, six years time when um, GPUs are more mainstream and, and um, like more powerful ones and this kind of stuff can really easily handle it. You're just kind of peeking into what VR is going to look like um, and gaming in general. <laughs> the movement speed is really quick, so I'm like zooming around this place. So apologies if people get motion sickness from my jerky movement. Um, but this is a really cool, cool little project. Um, I'm like excited. <laughs> like wow, it's really cool. Um, I just so would love to live here. Oh, there's a lot of windows, like, and not that many blinds. So <laughs> uh, I don't like uh, that kid's bedroom. Is really cool. I say kid's bedroom. That'd probably be my bedroom. Cozy. Even a little model of the of the project on the table, and then this would be like your entrance. And I guess you could split it into two houses as well. But so like that would be your neighbour. Does feel like something from a sci-fi film. It's really cool. So um, you can use um, it's like gamepad support in this, uh, but you need to use the keyboard and mouse just to change the menu. So I'm gonna go um. Seeing what there is. So this is a number of different experiences you can do. This is like a very wide view of the of the project from across the river. And there's like a few like little cinematic um, flourishes and stuff. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I mean, it does look like a slum, <laughs> like from far away. It looks like some, uh, what's that place in Hong Kong that they demolished? Um, yeah, you know the one. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the um, oh, I'm trying to think of his name.
Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool when you get up close. The original habitat. So, is, yes, um, I think if you're interested in architecture, this is quite a cool a thing just to sit down for like an hour or so, just to kind of Each soak in. Overlooking the other and it's free. And so on. And you remove the hill and these membranes of housing. I'm kind of thinking of um, state, floating, Nabu. The sun and the <laughs> episode one. And under them, you created the place of community with schools and shops and all the facilities we use. So yeah, this is, they've got like the little valve see, audio logs. On one side, the atrium and the hotel expanding over, meeting a residential membrane. We will see several planes of housing. There's someone living near Milton Keynes, this kind of like reminds me of apartments <laughs> floating floating that. out there. It'll almost feel like they're defying gravity because these great A-frames are helping to support them. So it's almost like floating there. The quality of light and space would be extraordinary because almost... I feel like this would be super expensive just for housing. Like, I just imagine the cost of one of these little pods. Light is coming through. I like the idea of, like, the cycle the lanes and stuff the 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 underneath. River flowing there. You'll see in other direction. So the movement is super quick. <laughs> you just phase through these And under doors. all of that, you'll see this carpet of buildings, low buildings, three, four stories high. Of some, shops some of the lighting's really good. Like, I don't know the frame, but the frame rate's not good. But when you just sit still for a bit and, right and gaze, and be lots of so there is a like a flying mode. So if you press Y, you go into like a flying mode, and the the, the shoulder buttons make you go up and down. <laughs> there's, there's no collision on on that floor, so you have to stay flying. But yeah, it looks super cool. Like this view, like some of the the views are really cool, and I'd imagine like okay, if you showed someone like an architectural project just flat screen on like a PowerPoint, and then actually showing them what it feels like to walk around the space, I think uh, yeah, this is quite a powerful tool for businesses in general. Like I'd be super sold on this project after seeing it in VR. I'd be like, yes, I want to move in there. Okay, this water looks great. Obviously, you'd want to optimize it a little bit before showing it to the public. And I came to the conclusion that the suburban Levittowns were not feasible in the long term. They just consume too much land, too much energy, too much transportation. We have to bring people back to the city. But yeah, people she prefer really houses. These streets. That's why they're in the suburbs. Therefore, it kind of feels like a city skyline mode. So, so you can see here that she's got a bunch of the Matrix demo assets house, and the city garden, assets. Privacy, and I think across the water is like the actual Matrix streets, city demo. People will be more willing to live in cities. And I think I've, I've definitely not found all of these audio logs. There's a whole bunch of them everywhere. Mixed use development is one which takes all the ingredients of urban life so it's a, it's a few flickering and stuff on some like reflection so assets but generally it's like pretty good in both eyes a shopping center with and i think this would have taken quite a bit to produce so i'm impressed they released it for free it's like really really cool but in its most sublime i really wish there was a nighttime mode like the matrix demo with all that's the, the one thing i'm like <laughs> wish like it had schools and shops around them Plus places for work, offices, work. I feel like if you lived in one of these, you're definitely going to live next to someone who, like, does in some fat dude that likes naked sunbathing. very fashionable in the 20th century. Zoning, residential in one part of the city. Office yeah, feel free to download this. I mean, even, uh, like, you try the streaming place. option that's on their website. Um, if you don't have, like, a beefy computer. You Pretty cool. Mix different land uses in one place. I'll, I'll let this play out, I'll just explore a bit more, go back inside. Um, but yeah, very cool. This evolved further as I started developing the ideas, how it's best to accomplish it through conventional construction, 
and concluded, no, through prefabrication, through modular prefabrication, three-dimensional elements, pre-make pieces of the apartment in a factory and assemble it.